Have you ever wondered about the unseen heroes who keep our country running? Picture this, a vast network of highways humming with the relentless rhythm of 18-wheelers. These are the lifeblood of our economy, the truck drivers who keep our stores stocked and our industries moving. But today, these unsung heroes are dwindling with a staggering 880,000 vacancies in the trucking industry. The trucking industry faces a massive shortage with over 880,000 vacancies, a crisis in the making. But the trucker's battle is not just about the shortage of drivers. It's also about a new policy that has hit the roads of the Big Apple, congestion pricing. This policy, a first of its kind in the United States, is designed to ease the city's notorious traffic congestion. But here's the kicker. It's not just any ordinary toll. For large trucks, the fee is a hefty $36. That's right, $36. Now imagine you're an independent trucker driving your loads into the heart of New York City. That $36 fee is not just a one-off payment. It's for every single trip you make into the city. And as you can guess, this has sparked a firestorm of outrage among these hardworking individuals. To them, this is not just a policy. It's a financial burden. It's a challenge to their livelihoods. As independent truckers, their income is already stretched thin with fuel costs, maintenance expenses, and the ever-looming shortage of drivers. Now, they have this additional expense to worry about. Many truckers are voicing their discontent, arguing that this congestion pricing is not just financially burdensome, but also unsustainable. They claim that these high tolls, coupled with the city's political policies, are making it harder for them to continue their work. With the new tolls, truckers are finding it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. The city that never sleeps is causing sleepless nights for our truckers. In response, truckers are making their voices heard. And boy, are they loud and clear. They're saying, enough is enough to the congestion pricing policy of New York City. It's not just a murmur or a grumble, it's a thunderous roar that's echoing throughout the industry. The independent truckers, the lifeblood of America's supply chain are taking a stand. They're refusing to be pushed around by policies they see as unfair and burdensome. Now they're hitting back where it hurts most. They're boycotting shipments to New York City. Yes, you heard it right. The city that never sleeps might soon find its shelves running empty because the trucks that keep it stocked are refusing to roll in. Their argument? This congestion pricing policy is not just an inconvenience. It's a financial boulder on their already burdened shoulders. Imagine having to shell out a whopping $36 every time you drive into the city. That's a significant chunk of their earnings. For many of these truckers who are already grappling with thin profit margins and high operating costs, this is unsustainable. But it doesn't stop there. The dissatisfaction runs deeper. The truckers are not just protesting against a policy. They're expressing their disdain for New York City's political landscape. They see it as hostile to their interests, as an environment that doesn't value their contribution to the city's economy their protest is a manifestation of their frustration with the city's political policies. This protest is not just about money. It's about respect, recognition, and fair treatment. It's about standing up against what they see as an infringement on their right to earn a decent living. It's about demanding a seat at the table when decisions that affect their livelihoods are made. So, what does this mean for New York City? Well. The potential implications are huge. With the ongoing trucker shortage and the new tolls and fees, the city could be heading towards a supply chain crisis. The trucker's boycott could exacerbate the shortage, creating a ripple effect that could affect every corner of the city. Truckers are not just protesting, they're boycotting, creating a potential crisis for the city's supply chain. 
And that's a situation nobody wants to find themselves in. And this protest is not without consequences. Let's delve into the potential impact of these intertwined issues, the ongoing trucker shortage and the introduction of high tolls and fees. Now, imagine for a moment, a city without the steady hum of 18 wheelers, the backbone of the American supply chain. A potential resurgence of the trucker's boycott against New York City could very well create this scenario. Firstly, the most immediate consequence would be felt in the city's supply chain. Trucks are the lifeblood of commerce, transporting everything from fresh produce to medical supplies. Without them, shelves could empty, and the availability of goods might dwindle. This could lead to a rise in prices, hitting the pockets of everyday New Yorkers. Secondly, the ripple effect of this boycott could reach far beyond the city's borders. Other cities might take notice and fret about implementing similar congestion pricing, fearing similar backlash from their trucking communities. This anxiety could stall or even halt progress in the fight against traffic congestion and environmental pollution nationwide. Thirdly, let's consider the trucking industry itself. The boycott, coupled with the ongoing shortage of drivers, could lead to an even bigger crisis. Trucking companies might struggle to retain their drivers, who could feel increasingly marginalized by the harsh economic conditions. This could throw an already fragile industry into further disarray. Lastly, but by no means less significant, is the potential impact on New York City's economy. The trucking industry contributes significantly to the city's revenue. A sustained boycott could lead to a considerable dip in this income, affecting everything from infrastructure development to public services. In essence, the stakes are high. The city's policies and the truckers' protest have collided, creating a potential powder keg of economic and social disruption. This clash between policy and protest underscores the importance of dialogue and compromise in resolving contentious issues. So let's not underestimate the power of the trucking industry or the potential fallout from this brewing storm. The combination of the shortage and the boycott could potentially disrupt the city's supplies and economy. So where does that leave us? We've delved deep into the current predicament of the U.S. trucking industry. It's a bumpy road ahead with a staggering shortage of over 880,000 drivers. The pot has been stirred further by New York City's controversial congestion pricing, especially the hefty $36 toll for large trucks. This move has ignited a firestorm of protest from independent truckers who argue that such costs are unsustainable. The city's political policies have also come under fire, adding fuel to the truckers' discontent. As a result, many are boycotting shipments to the Big Apple, which could potentially escalate the situation. We're at a crossroads where the ongoing driver shortage intertwines with rising tolls and fees leading to a possible resurgence of the truckers' boycott against New York City. These are challenging times for our truckers, but as they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Let's watch this space.